Hey there everyone, we are back for some more Sly, and it looks like we've got a bunch of Sly missions to do in the background. As you can see, there's two missions at least there. So we'll go ahead and choose them, and uh, get to work I guess. So we'll go right, I believe. Kill those guys, always swing around through those little grassy areas, you never know when a snake's gonna pop out. So yeah, I don't really have a huge fear of snakes, although if I did see one it'd be it would be kind of freaky, at least in the uh, in the wild. Um, in captivity, like in zoos and whatnot, I don't think I'd be that afraid. Uh, it's not like a, a phobia. I'm not sure why I started talking about that, but it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and do this mission first, because this is how we unlock the drawbridge. And that one over there is the ballroom one. But uh, we'll go ahead and get this done first. The winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. A little bit of frame rate lag there, but that is okay, I guess. So we'll go ahead and start picking all these guys' pockets, because why not? Don't want to touch that. I gotta be careful when clicking the, uh, Left analog stick, L3 I believe. It's giving uh, my controller is a bit old, so it is uh, starting to get that weird little uh, stick drift problem and whatnot. Playing that guy's life because I can. Camera is freaking out. All right, we'll keep. We'll just go all the way around. Follow along the edge here. I could have sworn I saw somebody walking around here, but I guess not. So we gotta pickpocket this guy. But I do believe there is a. To lure this guard from his post. Try ringing that gong and picking his pocket when he returns to his post. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it that way. That's the way you're supposed to do it, but I'm gonna do something different. Because I like oh. Uh, no, where are you going? He really is gonna walk all the way. No, come back. Right, we'll, we'll come back to this guy later. Cause I can't be bothered right now. Cause he's gonna go all the way around just to check this. Even though he can't even get up here. So wait for this guy to turn around. Just like that. Whoa, what was that? Heads or tails? 500. Oh, wow. He's still coming. Uh, is there a guy back here? There is. Well, might as well get this guy. I hate trying to get on top of these roofs here because you can't see where the enemies are, so sometimes you can just walk right into them. And it's not good. I didn't even press triangle there, I pressed L3. That's how you know my controller is old and wonky. Alright, we'll keep doing this. Dude got a lot of cash in his pocket. Holy smokes. Uh, I wanted to try and knock him over the edge. Alright, so we'll continue back over to this side. This guy should be... Hear that helicopter? Should be on his way back. Whoops. Okay, easy. And we'll go to this guy over here to the... Well, we'll check. We'll check to see if he's back. I don't think he is fully. Yeah, he's still making his way back. Because he's pretty slow. But we'll go ahead over here, grab this guy. I didn't really feel like pickpocketing him. Maybe I should have because he dropped in no cash <laughs> whatsoever. Alright. Gotta be careful of this little elephant guy. Don't get spotted. I don't want to get crushed either. 
This guy's got a lot of money. He purposely put this much money in his pocket. Did I get spotted? I think I did. Because he hasn't respawned yet. Oh well. Let us go back to this guy that I should have gotten a long time ago, but I just didn't. Uh, we can see him there, standing. I like how nothing else has loaded in either. He's just kind of standing on an enemy platform. Alright, so we'll go across. Oh no, there's a guy! No, he's gonna cause the same old problems. What if I just ignore him? I miss. If I remember correctly, we can go... Oh wait, we want to go this way. There we go. Did I have to do it that way? Now take those stolen keys back to the padlocked winch to lower the drawbridge. Did I have to do it that way? No. Whoops. Uh I guess I hit him too high in the sky. We'll go ahead and kill this guy now, because I can. And like and they said we'll head all the way back to the winch. And yeah, might as well. Might as well do that. Oh, almost passed it. What is that noise? Oh, did the drawbridge fall again? Alright, uh, I don't really feel like... Ah, uh, you know what, we'll do the Murray mission since we're right here. Go all the way around. Back into the safe house. I actually will buy a, an upgrade. Which is the... No, no, I won't buy it. Uh, basically, the upgrade just makes me... Allows me to uh, jump... Jump higher as Murray if we uh, hold down the button, which would be nice, but uh, uh, we'll be all right. So we'll go around. Oh, the other people heard me. Wow, that guy heard me even. Jump up here, I dare you. No, nothing. All right, we're gonna go shoot down a chopper. gun once. I'll bet it works just the same. Alright, so let's uh, spam. To keep your strength up. Spam buttons. I'm wondering if we can just get away with pressing two buttons. I used to press the buttons in the order that it shows at the top. Pretty inefficient, I guess. But I think you can just... Oh. I totally forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, I think you can just press any button. And, uh, I could have sworn this came with a crosshair, but I guess not. I also used to spam uh, L1 at the same time that I'm doing this because I thought it would make your uh, gun recharge faster. So it was pretty difficult sometimes having to press L1 and R1 and aim at the same time. But you don't really have to. But I hate shooting these. Aiming a controller is so whack for me. Right, 
we'll get rid of them. Oh my god, that's a lot of missiles. Best to just shoot in a straight line and let the missiles run into your... your uh, what are these even? Plasma bolts? Bullets? I don't even know. Alright, how fun was that? I wish we could use it again, but... Ah, uh, we really can't. Just to shoot around, but I don't even think we could look that far down. So we kind of just be looking at the sky for no reason. Uh, speaking of potato gun though, I've never owned one. I think I've owned a marshmallow gun once in the past, but... I'm not really a fan of marshmallows. Um... Onto the slime mission. This is probably one of my favorite missions. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't hate marshmallows because like I hate them. I don't like marshmallows because I just don't really like sweet stuff. I'm not really a sweets person. I like uh, sour stuff more than I do sweet stuff. Um, I think I've talked about this in the past. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'm more of a sour, sour candy kind of guy. Sour and salty, basically. Um, some people can eat a whole bag of Oreos and uh, be okay. Not me. I eat like one, maybe half of one, and I'm already done. I don't know why I tried to get up there. Uh, but I could eat a whole bag of chips by myself. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Oh. Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? No. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Now, that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. Okay, so we're gonna head over to this place way over here in the guest houses. And uh, we're gonna go look for some tuxedos. I think this still counts as a same mission, or maybe not, I'm not sure. But this guy is something shiny, so we're gonna steal it. Always nice to get some loot. So I think it's gonna be a comb, you know, a ring. Right, so we'll go and get this guy's loot too. Because it's on the way. A pen. I've never really, well, I was gonna say I've never really been much of a pen guy myself, but I do like nice pens. Uh, not that I write, you know, too much or often, to say the least. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. Great. So we'll get up here, climb this. This is probably one of the reasons why this is my favorite mission. This part is fun. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, this first part of the mission's fun to me, and the second part. You need to use your stealth attack in here. Remember, the triangle button knocks guys up into the air, and the square button brings them down hard. I failed twice. I was trying to pull this guy over. Grab this guy's cash. End his life. Now, there is a specific way to do this. The Pieces of the tuxedo do spawn in certain areas uh, every single time, according to each room. Now I don't remember which this one is. I want to say it's this piece here, but I'm also thinking it might be this piece over here. Uh, I'm going to do this piece. Yes! 
Uh, I got it. It's just a little game I like to play with my, um, while I'm doing this. I was gonna say play with myself, but that sort of sounds naughty. Um, yeah, I just find it fun to see if I can guess it. It also shows just how many times I've played this. But I'll still run around and break stuff like you're supposed to, uh, because free cash and whatnot. You know, I've never really used this move too often growing up, this like spinny move. I thought it was like completely useless, but I just use it like a lot. I find myself using it more often than not now. This also, this move also makes a return in the third game. Bit of a spoiler, but you know, it's okay. Again, this game is quite old. If you don't know it by now, then uh, you most likely weren't ever going to play it. Uh, but yeah, we'll go into this room. Yeah, it makes a return in the second game or the third game, sorry, and uh, I just don't I don't really use it too often in that game. Uh this is gonna be kinda tough because I do want this guy's money at the very least. So we'll try and uh, get this. I don't think I'll be able to stealth attack all of these guys, but we can try. Alright. We'll hide in here, see if we can do this one by one. And uh, if we can't, then we can't. I just wanna see if it's possible. Now, I clearly can't do it right now because they're all there. Ah, you know what? Forget this. We'll just fight them. We'll try not to break anything because I do want to guess. But I believe it's right here. Yep. Got a shirt. We just did that whole animation right in front of them. They sat and watched. And we'll keep ransacking. So we're two for two on the outfits for finding them first try. Alright, so we'll go through here. I'm not going to bother breaking everything because it will get a tad uh, repetitive. So we'll just break most of the stuff. And we'll head on out to the next place, which is over here, right? Nope, wrong way. Wrong way. I will say though, this is a pretty fancy uh, looking uh, hotel or guest area, not gonna lie. I think I usually save this guy for last, so we'll uh, head back over to this side. It won't go, because that is Rajan's place, so we'll uh, we'll actually wait to go there. Might as well save Rajan's room for last, so we'll go to 101. Fancy doors too, by the way. Like glass doors, and you get a whole hallway to yourself. Alright, who's here? Just uh, one dude? Yeah, looks like it. Anything? Oh, unfortunate. There's a bunch of snakes, though. I don't know why this guy wants to keep a lot of snakes. Now, we've already checked this one and this one. I believe this one should be over here. No, I got it wrong. I should have been more patient. I, it's it's this one over here then. This oh, I think it's this. No, it's this. No, wow. Uh, is it really these again? Oh, it is. I should have known. Dang. All right, we're we're two for three, which is uh, isn't bad. That's still a passing grade or sixty six percent. I failed that one. That one, I, I was tripped. I'm going to call that one a trip because uh, I really thought it was going to be over on that side. Because we did just check this side. But we are like across on the other side of the room, so it does make sense. Or other side of the building. Um, but I would definitely stay in this... Uh, I would stay in this uh, hotel slash guest area if I had to. Hopefully I wouldn't get ransacked by Sly, but... Um, you know, it is a pretty nice looking hotel. It would be a really nice building to uh, build in Minecraft too, but it'd be really massive. Like, this is just a big area. Alright, we're gonna loot this left guy here. I don't think these guys roam. Oh, I'm, gonna loot. Oh, I'm a little bit spooked about that guy to the right. Alright, let's just... All the way around. Please don't spot me. We're gonna stealth attack this guy because I mean he's the flashlight guy. We kind of have to. 
I mean, I guess we don't have to, but it makes the fight a whole lot easier. Take out this guy so he doesn't call for backup. Not that it matters because nobody's going to hear it. But I think it'd be pretty cool if... Um... Oh, I hit that. I, I don't want to take that as uh, the item that I found. Uh, but it's definitely going to be in this box over here. Yep. Okay, we'll ignore that one that I hit over there because I knew it wasn't going to be in there. But, um... Yeah, so we're three for four. So we're doing quite well. 75%. I can't believe that last one tricked me. So sad. Break all this. Gotta break the bed, of course. Although this bed doesn't look very comfy, to say the least. Unless this is some sort of, like, memory foam. Yeah, but, I mean, just look at this place. You get, like, all this place over here to put all your bags. You got... A really nice bath in here. Well, it was nice until I broke it. You got a huge dining area with a really big TV. It's probably super expensive to stay here, but you know. And like, look at this bed area. You can put down the, uh, or at least I think you can put down these uh, curtains to like cover it all up. Not quite too sure, but we'll head onwards to Rajan's room after I uh, yoink this money. Go, 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 go. Into Rajan's. This is Rajan's room. Stay sharp. He's probably got extra security. Um, that guy doesn't have anything. I usually just ignore everybody here and go straight to the, uh, the back. Well, except for this guy here. We do have to take this guy out. Oh. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize there was a second guy here. Where's he going? The good thing I didn't fail any uh sooner. Alright, so let's get back up here. Why did I miss this jump? Oh, probably because I don't need to climb it. We'll take this guy out. Just because he's in the way. And I guess the last item is here. Dance shoes. That's it. Now that you've got a complete tuxedo, the doorbell will let you into the ballroom. Alright. We'll uh break all this. So we went four for five. Not too bad, not too bad. We're gonna get on out of here. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode because I do want to finish this last mission. So, uh, yeah, I did notice the time, We're like 20 minutes in. I spent a lot of time just uh, mucking about, messing around. Um, so yeah, we'll hurry up and get uh, this mission done. Real quick. Probably spent most of the time pickpocketing, that's why it took so long. As pickpocketing does take some time. Like, I could just run past this guy, do this, and it's over in like 3 seconds. Pickpocketing takes like an extra like five, ten seconds to do, depending. So not the most efficient thing in the world, but you know it is what it is. Can this guy hurt and move? Oh no. What? Alright, well he gave me the health pack, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. On to my next favorite part of the mission. I'm surprised the clothes that we stole though all fit. You got your tuxedo now, sir? Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. I just realized this guy reminds me of the one vendor in Ratchet. Tuxedo disguise is working perfectly. No one will recognize you in that outfit. Now, during the heist, you'll need to dance with Carmelita to keep both her and the crowd distracted. The only problem is, she's picky about dance partners, so you'll need to impress her first. Alright, I know just the girl for the job. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry, do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Koopa? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As 
good as that sounds. How about a dance first? Enchanté. Yeah, I was gonna say, it reminds me of that one vendor in Ratchet and Clank. The one that hides his face too. Try to memorize the steps. Now your turn. I love this minigame. They need more minigames like this in the Sly series. I'm debating if I want to talk through this. Are you using me to get at old iron sides? Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. Even if it's only like three buttons I have to memorize, it's still kind of tough, I feel like, especially if I'm talking. Nice. If only dancing was this easy in real life. That fellow is very graceful. You moved spice shipments as well. Silence. Ooh. Yikes. I'm spooked. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Neela, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Neela, his skills far surpass you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. Cool. Sorry for the lack of talking. I was really concentrating for some reason. <laughs> All right, boys. We're ready for the next phase. My plan to get at the clockwork wings requires the use of the electric winch above the ballroom. To get control over the device, I'll need to hack the computers in Rajad's boardroom. Plus, we'll need an extra strong saw blade to cut the wings off the statue. To make a saw blade that durable, I'll need Sly to steal the gems off the headdresses on Rajan's prize elephants. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's surface-to-air defenses. That should clear things up for the heights. Nice, so we have a new set of missions that we gotta do before we go on to the heist, as Bentley said. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for today's episode. We'll get to those next time, as we are running this episode a little bit longer, just because uh, I really did enjoy that last set of mission. That one, that mission does kind of drag on for a while. Because we technically go to like three different mission points. But um, yeah, so with that being said... Next time we'll play as our probably Bentley, I think. We have to take out to the field and some more Sly. So we'll check the thief net one more time. I doubt there'll be anything good. Yeah. Alright, so with that being said, thanks for watching everybody. And, uh, take care.